Have you ever wondered why something as delicious as a burger could be harmful to your health? That mouth-watering stack of beef, cheese and bread, which provides such instant gratification, can also be a silent saboteur to our health. So, what are the potential health risks of consuming burgers regularly? Well, let's dive in. Regular consumption of burgers can lead to several health complications. First off, let's talk about obesity. Burgers are typically high in carbs and calories, and when we consume more of them, our bodies store them as fat, leading to weight gain. Over time, this could result in obesity, a condition that increases the risk of several other health problems. Next up is heart disease. The high levels of sugar and carbs found in burgers can lead to the buildup of plaque in our arteries. This buildup narrows the arteries, making it harder for blood to flow and putting strain on the heart, which could result in heart disease over time. High blood pressure or hypertension is another health risk related to burger consumption. The high sodium content in burgers can cause our bodies to hold onto water to dilute the sodium. This increases the volume of blood that our hearts have to pump leading to high blood pressure and let's not forget about diabetes. The high levels of sugar and processed carbohydrates in burger buns cause a spike in blood sugar levels. Over time these spikes can lead to insulin resistance a key factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. But why do these conditions arise from burger consumption? It boils down to the ingredients and the way they are processed. If you are concerned about your health and you feel that you are learning from our channel, please subscribe and join our family and hit the notification button so you won't miss any video. And if you would like to know what you will learn by doing so, please continue watching, and the answer is in the end of this video. Let's peel back the layers of this all-American favorite and see what we find. First up, we have the bun. While it may seem harmless, a typical white bread bun is full of refined carbohydrates. These are quickly converted into sugar in our bodies and can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels. Not to mention they're usually low in fiber and other essential nutrients. Next we have the beef patty. This is where things get a bit more complicated. While beef is a good source of protein, but many fast food chains use processed meats, which can have added sodium and preservatives. These can put you at risk for heart disease. Then there's the cheese. Ah, the creamy, melty goodness that makes a burger a burger, but don't be fooled. These cheese is made mostly from carbs and sugar, and if you're not careful, it can quickly turn your meal into a sugar bomb. And finally we have the condiments. Ketchup, mayo, and mustard may add flavor, but they also add a lot of hidden sugars and sodium. In fact a single tablespoon of ketchup can contain up to 5 grams of sugar. That's about one whole teaspoon. Now I'm not saying that you should never eat a burger again, but it's important to understand what you're putting into your body. By being aware of the ingredients in your food, you can make more informed decisions about your diet. For instance, you can choose to use leafy greens instead of white bread. You could even ditch the cheese and load up on an egg instead. And as for the condiments, why not try making your own at home? That way, you can control the amount of sugar and sodium that goes into them. It's clear that the ingredients in a burger can have a significant impact on our health. So next time you're craving a burger, remember to think twice about what you're really eating. This isn't about demonizing burgers, but about understanding the potential risks they carry, especially when they become a regular part of our diet. In order to fix our health issues and be healthy, we have to fix our diet, and we can't fix our diet until we know what is in it and what is done to it. We have to understand that nutrition is not the same as food science. Food science is what happens to food between the ground and the mouth. Nutrition is what happens to food between the mouth and the cell. Each is dependent on the other, yet both are hidden from the public. That's on purpose because the food industry don't want you to know that it's the food processing that rendered the current concepts of nutrition moot. I hope you benefited, liked, and enjoyed this video. And if you would like to know what you will learn from our channel, here you go. Hello, Diabetes Challengers. Welcome to our channel. My name is Dr. Ali Qasim, and I have discovered that I have diabetes in 2007. Our channel is about giving you a new perspective on your health that will empower you and allow you to make healthy changes for a healthier you. Once you understand how much power you have over your health and your body, you will become excited about how much you can do. And then when you make the decision to become a master of your health, you will change to new healthier habits. Because as long as we keep the old habits that cause all our health issues, we will not get any better. Once you make that decision, you will have control over your body rather than your body controls you. I started taking my medication in 2011 until 2017. At that time, I used to take uh, four types of medication, metformin, Jardians, Diamicron, and Tragenta 
dough. And in that time, my HbA1c was 10.7. And because of the harm this medication made to my body, I decided to stop taking these medications completely. At once in one night, I decided not to take any kind of medication and adjust my diet. In two weeks time, I managed to control my blood sugar from 9.8 to 5.4 or 5.5 since then until today without any medication. And I will share all the information and all the experience with you. I have studied diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. My references for food science, uh, are Harvard University, Mayo Clinic, USDA, Food Standard Agency UK, and uh, Food Authority Australia, and other universities and authorities. I take the numbers and the research from all these sites and universities, and I will take the average and put it in my videos. And my references for medicine and nutrition are, uh, number one, the first doctor that I followed uh, since 2017, who helped me uh, to, to stop my medication and uh, treat and deal with type 2 diabetes. Naturally, Dr. Jason Fung from Canada, who has three famous books, The Diabetes Code, The Cancer Code, and Obesity Code. Thank you so much, Dr. Jason. And Dr. John Yetkin from UK, who has a very famous and fantastic book called Pure, White, and Deadly, which I will give you its summary in the future. And Professor Tim Knox from South Africa, who has published more than 750 scientific books and articles. And he has been cited more than 16,000 times in scientific literature. And Professor Dr. Robert Lustig with his famous and great book, Metabolical, The Lure and Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition and Modern Medicine. And Professor Peter Gotze with his great book also, Deadly Medicines and Organized Crime. And other noble and great doctors whom all of them, all of them are against what this man and Keys has done to humanity. In this channel, you will learn scientific information about diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, about food, uh, like fruit, like vegetables, meat, fish, spices, vitamins, minerals, and almost every edible thing. My body weight used to be 110 kilograms, and within three months, I dropped 27 kilograms. Uh, and since then, until now, as you can see, my weight is 83 which is the ideal weight. You will understand how amazing your body is and you will learn to master your health, stay healthy naturally and have a quality life. Not only you will add years to your life, but also you will add life to your years. If your health is important to you, I suggest you join the Challengers family, those who challenge diabetes, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will not miss any new video because maybe a solution or an answer to your question uh, is in that video. I would like to thank all our family members, those who join the channel and those who are going uh, to join with my heartfelt gratitude. I hope to see all of you over the top with a healthy, wealthy and prosperous life. Thank you for watching with my heartfelt gratitude.